Um, yes, so the reflections on your debugging process. Notice I actually posted the assignment specification as a Google site itself, so you kind of know what Google sites look like. Um, I think one of the problems with the with the with people uh, doing uh, this assignment, I think it narrows down to question three. Does the program need to give correct input for only a certain range of input? In other words, when is it necessary or unnecessary to test for input consisting of random or meaningless input? Like I have, I feel I have a pretty solid idea of what I'm asking here. It's just a little hard to explain. Um, and maybe, maybe for that reason, I should probably get rid of question three. I think maybe what we'll do is say that question three is no longer required. So I think that I'm, I'm getting the feeling that the instruction is a little too nuanced for a lot of students. All I can tell you is, you know what, for love, basically, uh, you can skip question three, uh, to be honest with you. Um, you don't need to do question three. But I know that in university, this, this kind of thinking is, is something you have to get used to. Um, and hopefully by the time you get to university, um, this will be old hat. But we're not, um, we're not asking you, for example, if I'm asking to put in an integer and you put in a string, or there are ways of defensively programming against those things too. Like, for example, reading something in as a string and then converting it to a number if it's a number. But then you'd have to check to see if it's a number. So you're putting in something like a parse double and uh, the person puts in a string and you use parse double. But for us, we're just saying next double or next int, right? Uh, that's the way we've been doing up, up until now. I know some people were using parse double in uh, some of their earlier assignments. It's, uh, it's not according to spec for me because you're using functions and objects like the double object um, in ways that weren't really part of the course. Because what happens is that people bring in libraries and this and that and they start doing magical things with code where they are supposed to write that code. They're supposed to be the ones writing that code and they're getting this library to do all the all the work for them. Uh, not fair to the other students. You have to you have to program within the constraints I give you. Uh, and every every assignment, I usually make sure that you can definitely program within the constraints that I give you. I, I notice a lot of people have not done this particular um, Google site yet, and it worries me because I know a lot of people seem to be confused on one of the instructions, and I think it might be actually number three. So uh, for now, I'm I'm announcing to the class you don't have to do question three. We'll just we'll just leave it out.